Meanwhile, a high-concept movie is one whose premise can be stated in a single sentence. Our number two story in the countdown, when you can get to the essence of a film with just one phrase, well, then you've got snakes on a plane. And whoever came up with that pithy, unpoetic little title must be thinking themselves geniuses by now. It may be laughable, but the internets took over and created the kind of buzz that Hollywood can only dream of, usually. And now there is the movie trailer. Countdown senior uh, cinematic herpetology correspondent Monica Novotny joins me from headquarters with the long-awaited moment. Monica? Keith, one critic called this the most anticipated film of the decade. Hard to believe. Wired Magazine has already named it the best worst film of the year. And this week, New Line Cinema is premiering a new trailer featuring snakes, a plane, and a star, Samuel L. Jackson. So now, finally, you can judge for yourself. At 30,000 feet. Did you hear that? Snakes are the pittiest thing on this play. Do as I say, and you live. Samuel L. Jackson. It's my job to handle life and death situations. And I'm very good at it. Snakes on a play. One, two, three! That's what I'm talking about. This film is not your rated. It starts August 18th. In seven weeks, the snakes take flight. Good news for the film's cult-like internet fan base, now in the thousands, thanks to a few clips released online months ago, and that name. Ahead of the snakes. Based purely on the title, I've never seen anything like this. That's because much of this film's buzz began here, at snakesonablog.com, written by Georgetown University law student Brian Finkelstein. You know exactly what you're going to get when you go to see this movie. It's going to have snakes, they're going to be on a plane, um... It's probably going to be some biting. The 26-year-old site currently getting some 5,000 hits a day, inspiring readers to send in their own posters, mock trailers, even their own renditions of what auditions for the film could have been like. You want to kill those snakes. There is snakes on the plane. I don't know what kind of airline you're running here, but you've got a reptile problem. New Line, the studio releasing the film, hoping to turn the internet excitement into box office bucks. Shooting additional scenes to get the film to an R rating, with the hopes of bringing in a larger audience, even releasing a paperback version in bookstores. But critics expect snakes to slide quickly from the box office to your cable box. I doubt very highly whether or not people are really all that excited about the movie. I, I think that they just see this as kind of a joke and see it as sort of a joke on Hollywood, too, as sort of like, you know, how low can they go? What will they think of next? Not much lower than snakes. So bad, they're good. One, two, three! That's what I'm talking about. New Line has made an effort to include their online fans. They held a contest in which musicians could submit a song to be included in the film. The winners were recently chosen. And during the reshoots, they added a line in for Samuel L. Jackson based on an overwhelming number of requests from those fans. Now, I can't say that line and keep my job, so I'll just leave it to your imagination. Keith? So it's a movie about snakes on a plane, I'm gathering. I, yeah. I think so, yeah. Something, something about snakes, and, and then there's definitely a plane. Countdown's Monica Novotny. Great, thanks.